so Figma just re released a new collaboration tool called FigJam, nice puns, which basically replaces Miro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some uh, designs out of my Figma files and I'm gonna use them to help me with my wireframes, brainstorming and workflows over in FigJam. So just to quickly show you uh, how to create libraries from a Figma file, what you'll wanna do is uh, select any of the frames and then head over to create a component. Here's the shortcut, you can click it here. You can right click on any of these as well to uh, create a component. There's no uh, selection here because it's gone, but it would normally show up. And then uh, what I wanna do is head over to assets and then publish the updates of my new FigJam library. Usually these would be like UI components within your app, but I'm just using this for fun to then bring over into FigJam. So uh, this is FigJam. Basically, you can drag and drop uh, any component to make workflows and diagrams or to brainstorm. You can upvote, put in emojis, basically do a lot of your remote um, collaboration and, and work in here. But what I want to do now is I want to pull in a new library. So what I've already done is I've pulled in the Coda library, which is actually kind of awesome. It's like the home page icon I can pull in, any of our other iconography we use in our app, I have total access to it. So it helps me visually communicate in my workflows and diagrams, which is pretty rad. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I wanna pull in that FigJam library that I just created. So I've already added my icon library, but now I'm gonna throw in FigJam. All right, um, and here it is, cool. So these are my, silly uh, geometric concepts. But now if I wanted to pull in some hands uh, into my, my visuals, I can, or, uh, or any of my, my other components, let's go full screen. Pull in my robots. Uh, these are massive and not really in proportion to what this uh, diagram should probably look like. So I'm gonna make these much, much smaller. I need to select the, uh, the, the whole the whole thing. And I'll pull in the content as well. And something else that I noticed is uh, is not transparent um, within FreeJam. So I'm going to um, I guess this might be the fastest way to flip it over. Cool, uh, the robot is now transparent and I'm gonna do the same for the, the hands. I think I can actually just get rid of this fill. Cool. And make this guy a little bit smaller. That is so weird. I have to do both at the same time. All right, cool. Um, publish and edit these changes. So this is basically me like merging in my design changes into the library. And let's see if this uh, updates over here. So it looks like it doesn't update the live files, but if I were to pull in my, uh, oh, it looks like actually two components updated. Cool, whoa, okay, that is pretty sweet. So it's just like in the Figma, uh, it, or, in a Figma file, if you update the component, you can then push through updates to the rest of the file. Okay, cool, and then it's transparent. I can I can put it over, I can mix things around. So as I'm building an actual use case and example, um, I usually do doc illustrations, well, basically ecosystems for our clients. So let's say that this is like a product roadmap doc and then the product roadmap then connects to maybe the uh, all the uh, people in my organization. I can then connect them together. And maybe there's like a resource load. Okay, cool. So I can kind of do basic uh, workflows and on the, the People side, maybe we, we throw in a hand on the uh, on the prior roadmap, maybe throw in some uh, illustrations like that. So it's looking pretty cool. I can communicate with both um, 
structure, boxes and arrows, as well as some of the iconography pulling through it. Let's see if we can pull in a little Coda logo as well. Awesome. <laughs>